Welcome to Stellar Life Podcast. Get inspired and live out loud. From love, freedom, and success to having it all. Here's your host, coach, speaker, and shining star, Orion. Orion, you're looking good. The year is 2021. Humanity, we the collective, are experiencing a global shift and major uncertainty. Many changes have already happened within the fabric of our society, in our governments, and there are many more to come. In times like these, you must stay more centered, more connected, more loving. Follow your intuition as your northern star. Take charge of your mindset regardless of external situations. This year, I'm going to be posting special episodes called Stellar Experiences. In these episodes, I and some of my favorite guests are going to take you through a variety of exercises and guided meditations that will give you a stronger experience of self, calmness, and inner joy. Please do not listen to these episodes while you are driving or working. Find a quiet place, relax, and give yourself the gift of self-discovery. Welcome to your stellar experience. Hi, and welcome to Stellar Life Podcast. This is your host, Orion, proudly presenting an incredible process by Jonathan Hammond, who is the author of Hona Wisdom to Change Your Life. Jonathan is a teacher, energy healer, shamanic practitioner, and a spiritual counselor. And he was my guest on episode 233, Hona Wisdom to Change Your Life. And I highly recommend you listen and get inspired by this episode. So sit down, relax, because now we're going to take you through a process. This one is a short process, so you can do it every day and you can do it whenever you want to feel more grounded. And in the moment, most of our fears are stuff that never happened yet, stuff that is in the future or something from the past that is haunting us. So when I'm scared, when I'm worried about the future, I do this, I breathe and I just ground myself in the moment and then I find peace. So I hope you will enjoy this meditation. Sit down, relax, and enjoy the moment. Two, one, zero, We're going to do a practice around the fourth minute principle. Now is the moment of power. One of the things that I've noticed with clients, working with many, many, many clients, is uh, is a sense that many of them suffer needlessly thinking that they're supposed to know, have known something in the past that they didn't know. And they go back and they, and they look at those things that they've done or the mistakes they've made or, and they think, what was I thinking? How did I not know? And those things become a source of shame when the truth of the matter is, is that you actually didn't know what you didn't know. To not own that for yourself is a cause of needless suffering. So we're going to do a process that's based on the fourth Huna principle. Now is the moment of power. We're in using the power of the present moment. We're going to begin to reframe and see past unskillful or detrimental actions or mistakes that we've made in a new light so that we can let them go, so that we can forgive them, and so that we can see ourselves clearly and know that in general, we're, we're not bad people. We're just doing our best all the time. We're always doing our best, even if our best sometimes leads to something that is detrimental. So that's what this process is about. So just allow yourself to get comfortable. You can close your eyes. So we can change anything within the present moment. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to work with the present moment to transform a long-held negative story that you might have about yourself. So I just want you to take a moment to relax and begin to make deep inward contact with yourself. Take a few conscious inhales and exhales just to center yourself in the present moment. And if you haven't and you're comfortable doing so, you can close your eyes. And just really stay right in your body. Stay with yourself. You're doing work just on yourself. Good. Now, I want you to bring to mind a few big mistakes 
that you've made in your life. Or it could just be one mistake. This could be a bad habit, an instance where you didn't behave well, an action that you took that has caused you guilt or shame or regret. Or it could be that, what on earth was I thinking moment when you did that? When you did that thing that was unskillful or, uh, or, or harmful in some way. Just bring that to mind. And as this instance or these instances come to mind, consider that with each unfortunate event, even though your actions were unskillful, you were actually trying to do something. You were actually trying to do something to meet a need. So with as much compassion for yourself as you can possibly muster, feel into a different truth about this past action. So ask yourself, what was I actually trying to do when I behaved in this way? Was I trying to make something better? Was I trying to make myself feel better? Was I, I attempting to help myself in some way? Was I trying to understand something about myself? Was I hoping to alleviate some internal pain or confusion? What were you actually trying to do? With real compassion, really invite that inquiry. So you did this thing that was unskillful, that was maybe cruel or harmful to another or to yourself. Now I want you to side with and completely befriend this past behavior. Because the fact is that you didn't know what you didn't know. You didn't know the extent of the hurt that you were causing. You didn't realize what the in negative effects would be. Were you acting from innocence or possibly from ignorance? Were you behaving from hurt, trying to hurt less in some way? What were you actually trying to do? And now consider the fourth Huna principle. Now is the moment of power. As you reframe this difficult situation with kindness and compassion for yourself, in this moment, you can choose, you can harness the power of this moment to see even your weakest moments differently. And now decide that from this moment onward, to let your new way of seeing this action or this event in the past as a new truth, a new reality, one in which you didn't know what you didn't know, and you can make that change right now. To understand ourselves compassionately is one of the most loving and healing things that we can do. While many of us would naturally extend this courtesy to others, we often fall short in doing it for ourselves. The present moment offers a powerful opportunity to create a new story by transforming long-standing resentments, mistakes, and confusions into necessary steps on your path. Aloha. Aloha. That was awesome. Wow. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate our interview. I appreciate everything that you shared today. It was really great. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it. Thank you for joining me on my mission to light people up and change lives around the world. I hope today's conversation inspires you to step up, go after the life of your dreams, and be who you want to be. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to go to StellarLifePodcast.com for show notes, transcripts, and other cool stuff. And please subscribe, review, and help spread the word by sharing us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a lovely day, and I'll catch you on the next episode.